All right, everybody, welcome to Confusing Perspective, brought to you by our sponsor, youtube.com slash Captain Sparkles, for quality gaming content from someone who looks and sounds uh, quite a bit like me. You almost can't tell the difference sometimes. Check it out. Let's start off with number 19. Man about to run over a tiny, tiny kid. Wait, it actually, what? This, oh, it's like a, the top of the stairs. God, that took me a moment to figure out. I was like, what in the world is going on here, dude? This is like some Lord of the Rings filming tricks to make the actors look like hobbits with Gandalf next to him or something. This is actually just a screenshot from the upcoming live action interpretation of Attack on Titan. You know, they did it with Unalive Note. They made it into a live action movie, so gotta do it with Attack on Titan. This kid jumping looks huge. This isn't a jump card. Wait, what the heck is that? What? Oh, oh, he's jumping in the air. Oh my God, dude. I, it looks like he's kneeling, helping the other kid, I don't know, make a ramp or something like that. Okay, we gotta move something heavy. Can you go get Andre? He's inside, you, he's really big. He can help pick stuff up much easier. Like, we're trying over here, we're, we really are. Also, this isn't a junkyard. In case you were wondering, looks like a lot of junk on the ground, but it's not. It's a parkour. Okay, duh. Look for the girl with the broken smile. <laughs> uh, I can't believe that you can ride an ostrich. That just boggles my mind. The fact that there is a bird out there that you can sit on and ride and also become one with as you ride it, such that nobody can tell you were once even riding it. So cute. Oh, it's just a miniature little jet taking off on the helicopter blade. That's some pretty good timing right there to get that. Or they're just, you know, trying to uh, save some space. And so they have, you know, the remote control drones or what have you. And rather than having to have a big runway to take them off, it's like, oh, okay. You have a pretty reasonably long, straight-ish, straight a little bit of a curved piece of metal there that we can take off on. All right, why don't we double up? When the helicopters are parked on the ground, we use their blades as a runway for the drones. 200 IQ maneuvers. <laughs> really saving space there. Ignoring social distancing, question mark. A Danish photographer took pictures of people in public places this 24th of April from two different perspectives. Oh, I actually saw this. This kind of went viral on various subreddits. It wasn't just on this one. Yeah, it turns out if you have a pretty telephoto lens and you take the picture straight on instead of sideways, it creates a very different effect. Just like it's kind of hard sometimes, especially if you're in a new car you haven't driven before, to tell how much room you have between you and the car in front. If you're at a stoplight or something, and then you look over and if you can see a reflection in a storefront, you're like, oh, there's like another car length between me and the next car. I thought I was really close to it, so yeah. Turns out when you when you go sideways, it it adds more distance to things. This toy car on a treadmill. Okay, this is actually really cool. This isn't even confusing perspective. This is just someone who's really good at photography. That's really cool. What the heck, dude? That's awesome. That takes some talent to set up, get the lighting proper, do the exposures so that it actually looks like there's rain going on and I'm assuming he must have added in the the lights in post because it doesn't look like the toy car there actually has any lights on it. That's awesome, dude. This is how they're filming Lamborghini commercials right now when you're not allowed to have large sets of people together, you know, a whole crew. So you got to improvise in order to get some of the cool shots. So instead of using the like CG computers, that stuff's expensive. Practical effects, nice, convenient keep the budget where it needs to be, and you can social distance. It's absolutely perfect for the time being. Look at that, dude. Chonk Dwarves Good Boy Do Doge. Chonk Dwarves Good Boy Doge. Oh I, get, oh, I get what they're trying to say. Oh my God, that does look like an absolute unit of a dog. I, I see, large dog dwarfs the smaller dog. I guess it's like, that was a sentence. <laughs> Dude, that looks like an absolute unit, but also 
They look like, dude, they look like they're right next to each other. How far is the distance between these two here? Also, I don't know, that's a very satisfying bridge in the background. It's really cool. You don't see a lot of cool bridges like that going across large gaps of water near where I live. I guess Long Beach has a big bridge. That's, that's the only one I can think of. But that looks like a dog that, you know, has the, the Looney Tunes, has the thing around it. What did they... What was the magical serum? Wasn't it like something alcoholic that, that they would have around their neck in order to rescue whoever was stranded up in the mountains in the cartoons and then they'd drink whatever that was and they'd be like, oh, all good to go again. They're all warmed up. I don't... Like brandy or something in a, in a barrel around their neck. I still... That was so long ago that I didn't understand what was happening. I was just like, oh, man, if I ever get lost in the mountains... I hope that a St. Bernard with the ba barrel around its neck finds me and saves me. What a chonker. Wow. It's... It, it's actually... Uh, it's a rug. This is taxidermy. It just blends in really well. Um, that's very sad. The owner lost their cat a few years ago. They didn't want to permanently lose it and part with it, so they incorporated it into the rug on the top of the couch. It always blended in very nicely, so they put that to use. Wait, how does it blend in so amazingly, though? It's partially got to be due to, like, it's not a good quality photo, but... What the heck? It's perfectly the exact texture. Where... Where are your limbs, cat? Where has your body gone? You're just... You're like a face and a, and a ridgeline, and then it's just blanket. Where do you begin? I don't know anymore. Every time I see this meme, I think Shaggy is a centaur. Are you challenging me? <laughs> it really does look like it with the couch. I thought for a second it would be like Scooby-Doo is the body, but I guess the couch works too. I always got a question like a brown fabric couch. Although I, I suppose it could blend in things well. I don't know, probably doesn't show dirt or spills too badly. So maybe it's practical. I don't know. Anyway, centaur couch. Tasty Kacken. <laughs> what? what is happening here? <laughs> I can't, I can't tell. Is the cat like trying to jump up and yoink the chicken before it's eaten? It just looks very concerned. I can't tell if it's sitting on a chair, if it's like jumping up and you caught the cat mid-flight as you were trying to take a photo of your prized food creation. Is the cat like inside the bowl with the chicken? <laughs> Just, it's spread out for the photo shoot. Like, all right, how long you need me here? Tell me when you need a different position. I'll turn over, dude, do whatever you want. You know, I'm getting paid hourly, right? So take your time. Does this fit here? <laughs> it's, it's goofy IRL DAE remember goofy of course you do goofy is still all over the place at Disneyland which I guess we haven't been able to go to for quite some time so maybe you're forgetting what it is <laughs> that blended in really really well where did the where's the woman's face looks like she's turned sideways but all I see is hair and no face it's actually I, I think the dog has actually just gone through there was just, like, some particle acceleration, high velocity, and the dog just straight through the skull, dude. It <laughs> become one now. This creeps me out. Oh, God, no. Not that I still don't even understand these. The little alligator perspective trippy illusion. Oh, God. It doesn't belong here. It's black magic forkery. I still, I've seen them so many times, and I still, it, I, I don't get it. I still don't get it. Oh, God. Oh, messes me up so much. I still don't understand. How is it doing it? How does it do it? It doesn't make any sense. How did it do it? How does it do it? What? Oh, no, dude. Oh. No matter how many times I try, I still don't understand what's happening in the video. Still doesn't. Nope. Oh, yeah, there it goes. I take a minute to realize. <laughs> Just disappearing. This is platform nine and three quarters, everybody. They're all going to Hogwarts, okay? 
you just weren't supposed to see this. This was supposed to be done discreetly. And they didn't look 360 degrees before they all did it. God dang it, guys. You've just exposed the wizardry and witchcraft school for car enthusiasts, okay? It's supposed to be secret. We both got fooled, Kevin. Okay, it just looks like a butt. And of course, that's what's confusing about it is that it's obviously not a gigantic butt in my face right now, but YouTube, it's not a butt. I just need you to know this. Do not do bad things to my channel. It's not a butt. Just letting you know. It really looks like one, but apparently it's not. Hey friend, been a long time, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Here's a photo of my butt. <laughs> oh my god, you got shot in the butt, are you okay? <laughs> oh my god, stop it, I, Kevin, I'm pregnant. A-hole. It's like, yeah, you got shot in the A-hole. Oh, congrats. It really does look like it. Oh my god. That's the belly button, right? And then... It's kind of weird, though, to send the photo of you, because I don't know if there's a, is she in underwear or is there no bottom being worn and it's just, it's just full side thigh along with large, large tummy. <laughs> just, oh my God, dude. I'm curious, how would you even get that angle though? Say, let's pretend for a second it was a butt. That would be some impressive contortions in order to be able to get that angle solo without help. <laughs> I'm doing well. Here's the bullet wound in my butt. <laughs> oh man. I want this to be real, but there's part of me that just I can't believe that anyone would look at that and then send it to someone not thinking it makes it look like they're sending a butt. <sighs> a new species of animal. This is the legendary cow squirrel, dude. Oh god. I just, it just, yeah, it's uh, been tired of getting hit by cars every now and again, so it grew horns so that if a car is approaching, it can just stay headstrong and the car will just straight up flip over. This is Squirrel's Revenge for all the road on live that's happened over the years since cars were created. Although, I bet you squirrels have caused just as many accidents as the squirrels getting hit. Every time a squirrel jumps out of the road in front of me, I have a very hard time not reflexively swerving out of the way. I've actually, I've never unalived a squirrel, I just want to say that much. But it's like, one of these days, dude is going to happen, I'm going to swerve off the road and it's going to be like, was it worth it? Jordan, was it worth it? going off the side of a mountain in order to save the damn squirrel. I'm sorry, as much as you might love squirrels, no, it wasn't worth. God, I hope that doesn't happen. Took me a minute. Wait, is it? Oh, it's a mirror. Oh, that doesn't seem safe. Can you imagine at high speeds how much wind resistance that is against the person trying to hold it? You like, you would just slowly, the more you speed up, you just start flattening more and more. You're like, uh, I don't know how much longer this is gonna work. Eventually you just end up basically laying down with the mirror back there. Downforce, boys. You go fast enough and you'll be able to just drive in a loop or uh, upside down inside a tunnel. <laughs> and the top for the last month, Confusing Garden. I've seen this one before. I actually, I think the photo that I saw previously didn't have these people on it here. I think it was just a photo of this place. Now we've added the people for additional confusing perspective. And this one's kind of messing me up a little bit. I think last time I saw this, they gave the side view as well as the front view. Why is he so small? You look way too small in comparison to everybody else. How are you so far away from everybody? This doesn't make any sense. I get it, they're far in the back over a hill, but this, you look like you're the same place, but you're so tiny. How is this point so much further back than all these other points? Okay, it's messing, I see all these, these all make sense. This one's starting to get, this, you don't make any sense at all. How are this and this so far up? I must go down. Oh man, I need to see the photo of it in the from the side perspective again, because it's like a real long part, but oh, it messes with me. That's it for the last month of confusing perspective. 
Make sure to like if you liked, check out the playlist if you want to catch more of these, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and also sub to our sponsor, Captain Sparkles, here on YouTube. Good times. See you next time.